welcome biologists this session where we're going to be looking at the interrelationship between organelles involved in the production and secretion of proteins now at this point you don't actually need to know about the detailed stages of protein synthesis you learn about this in nucleic acids but for now we just need to know about how the organelles work together so in the previous video you you may remember that we had a look at the role of the different organelles within a eukaryotic cell uh, it is a good idea to familiarize yourself with this once more before you do go into this in a bit more detail. So the interrelationship between the organelles present, normally this is to produce some kind of a protein such as an enzyme or a hormone uh, in that cell, which is normally then uh, released and used somewhere in the body. Um, so for example, it could be um, the uh, enzyme used in the mouth, such as amylase, which is made inside the cell and then released so in order to actually make that particular enzyme there are a number of organelles that are needed to be working together here in order to produce that so let's start off with the nucleus and the nucleolus so this is where we start off the nucleus is producing mrna again you look at how that occurs in nucleic acids but for now that's all we need to know the mrna leaves the nucleus really important here that you say that it leaves through the nuclear pore the mRNA will attach to a ribosome. Um, you need to state where that ribosome is. So that could be free in the cytoplasm or it could be attached to the roof ER. Once the protein has been made through protein synthesis using the ribosome, this protein will then go into a vesicle and be transported to the Golgi apparatus. Now, the Golgi apparatus or the Golgi body, this is where my protein is going to be modified and packaged now it could be modified by the addition of a carbohydrate to make a, to make a glycoprotein or anything else but for now all we need to know is that it's modified within the golgi body and it's packaged into a vesicle again the vesicle will then be moved to the cell surface membrane of a eukaryotic cell where exocytosis will occur and exocytosis you learn a little bit more about that when we get to cell membranes but for this purpose of the lesson objective here, the interrelationship between the organelles present, those are the main things that you need to know. There are two other organelles that could be involved here. And this is the mitochondria, which produces ATP. And ATP is needed for the contractile filaments present within the cytoskeleton. Now the cytoskeleton we'll look at in a little bit more detail in the next video, but the cytoskeleton is made of contractile filaments, which require ATP to contract and move the vesicle from the Golgi body to the cell surface membrane to allow that process of exo exocytosis to occur. So that's it. There we are. That is the process of um, protein synthesis on a very, very basic level and the interrelationship between the organelles involved with that. Guys, good luck with your exams, and please make sure you're using as much scientific terminology as possible to get all your marks. Good luck.